Hey guys, how you doing? Cryptic here with another update on the Alienware Aurora R12. Remember, we bought this last week and I tore it down, decided to do some upgrades because I read a lot of things online about how hot these things run. So we decided to go with the H60 Corsair with the ML120 Pro fans. And also I upgraded the SSD because the modification for the third fan goes where the HDD is supposed to go. Don't miss the whole scenario and all the stuff that I had to do in order to get it to work. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the show. Alright guys, so the first step is to open the computer. I'm going to speed up the process here a little bit fast just because I know that you guys seen the video before where I opened it up the first time I got it. And then we'll get going on the rest of the installation as soon as I get it opened. This step is pretty simple. You're gonna remove the video card as well as the CPU fan. On the video card, there's a lock at the bottom right-hand corner of it. Just press it down and it should let go of the video card. And then make sure you clean up off the paste on the CPU itself. Once that's done, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, at this point, you want to remove the RAM off the PC as well. You want as much access and as much room as possible to remove the top tray where the radiator and the fan are going to sit at. Okay, guys. And like I said, guys, make sure to remove that paste off that CPU. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the fan that sits at the top there. And all that holds that, it looks like it's just a screw. Once you remove that screw, you should be able to slide the fan towards the left and remove it. It's a pretty simple step and it really takes no time to do. But once you remove that fan, then the fun part begins. So let's see what happens. All right, let's talk about those uh, Corsair fans that I'm getting ready to put in here. They go well with the uh, H60 from Corsair as well, and they're rated uh, pretty good. Very popular fans. Uh, you get RPM speeds up to 2400, and uh, you can have the option of going with the LED like I did or just the regular ML120 Pro. only reason why I chose the LED is because the ML120 Pros aren't available. These were you know, a few bucks more. But um, these fans are amazing. So one of the th best things you can do with these fans is, and you'll see later on, is uh, put, in, uh, put two intake fans and two um, exhaust fans. So you're going to do a push-pull configuration on your AIO, and you're going to put two intake fans, which I'll show you later on where you're going to put that second fan, which it's going to be right at the top of that front fan by modifying where the HDD goes. What you want to do is make sure that you make put the fans facing the right way. You want the airflow to go inwards and you want the flow on the other end to go outwards. There are arrows on the fan itself, so make sure that you follow those. So here in this step, I'm gonna be replacing that front fan and I'm gonna make sure that the airflow is facing forward. 
This will help the GPU as well because you're going to get fresh air intake from there and the fans that are on the GPU are going to hit the GPU and actually help it and keep it cool. Uh, so I'm going to speed up the process here so you guys can see uh, the fan installation. Again, just make sure those arrows are facing forward. And I did have a little bit of a trouble trying to get the cable through just because it didn't match at first. And I wanted to make sure that it came out the same way. That way I could plug it into the spot where it says front fan one. Uh, and so, like I said, I had a little bit of an issue with it. But other than that, it was pretty simple to do. And then once you put it in, just plug it and forget about it. Okay, so here we're going to talk about the H60 AIO which is made by Corsair. This one right here is 120 millimeters and it looks like it also has a fan that can put up speeds up to 1500 to 1700 RPMs. It's got one of the quietest fans according to Corsair uh, at only 28.3 dBAs. Inside you can see it comes with the brackets for the motherboard uh, also for your AMD uh, CPU as well. But it already comes with the Intel one attached to it. You will see some thermal paste in there as well, but we're not going to use any of that, including the thermal paste on here, because I decided to use a thermal pad that's made out of graphite from a tip I got from Linus Tech Tips, actually, that said that you can use this and it's better than thermal paste. Now, I did have an issue with it and unfortunately went back to thermal paste and I ended up buying the Corsair thermal paste, um, which is actually one of their performance ones but the graphite itself didn't really help. I mean, it actually was working, but at the time I was also using only one fan. So maybe that was the issue with it. And like I said, I ended up buying three more fans just because I wanted maximum cooling in the uh, CPU also inside the case. Um, and uh, once you, you take it out, you can see that the radiator itself is, like I said, very small. It's not that thick. The H80i actually has a bigger uh, radiator and I ended up actually switching to the H80i but for now I'm going to show you that I did use the H60 it actually works really well uh, my temps uh, temperatures didn't go above 65 when I was gaming um, on some of the games that I was using but again I wanted something that had a little better maximum cooling I actually saw some videos out there with people getting up to 54. As you can see here, uh, those are the connectors and it's got a SATA connector and also the CPU uh, fan header connector on there as well. The fan from Corsair isn't bad at all. It's just, it wasn't keeping up with the heat that the i7 produces. As you can see here, I'm trying to fit it to see how I'm gonna mount it, which I was following the instructions from Corsair to mount it as an intake, but it really didn't work. So um, I ended up looking in the box and finding more hardware stuff in there, which is some of the things that you're gonna use for mounting this thing on the CPU as well, okay? So here I went ahead and uh, put the radiator and fan back in the hole where it came from. I did the push-pull configuration. I didn't show it here because initially I was using the one fan as an intake following Corsair's instructions, but it actually didn't work out and I decided to use the push-pull configuration. And all you gotta do is add another fan facing the same way as the other one to where it pushes hot air from the inside out into the other fan and the other fan pulls it and extracts it. I cleaned off the paste of the pump because I'm gonna use the thermal pad that came from the tip I got from Linus Tech Tips. I ended up reverting back to the thermal paste. I think the thermal paste is better and unfortunately that pad was not working as well. On this step here, what we're gonna do is after I clean that off, we're gonna put that thermal pad in there. But again, guys, I reverted. I'm just showing you that I did install that and it worked for a little bit, but my temps were a little higher than I wanted them. I think I was running in upwards of 75 degrees and I kind of really didn't like that. So, but then again, I was only using one fan. When I went to the four fans, um, this worked a lot better, but at this point, I didn't really want to use the thermal pad. And then I'm going to speed this process up as well, because all we're doing here is installing the pump and making sure that all the connections are fine.
Here I'd like to say guys, please make sure you get the right heatsink for your PC. I got this off of eBay. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it from Dell. They're out of stock, but make sure that for the R11 and the R12, you get the right heatsink for it. And that's the right heatsink. It's called an L-shape heatsink or VRM heatsink, okay? Because the ones that are for the R8, the R9, the R10, they're a little different. I mean, it may or may not work. I'm not really sure, but I did order one from eBay that I thought was gonna work and it actually ended up not working. The length of the heat sink is actually smaller. So I'll show you here in just a minute, but um, the one that you can get from the R9, the R10, the uh, and the uh, R8, I believe, or the seven or something like that, they're not gonna work for this PC. So don't even try, don't even waste your money on it. Also, make sure you guys get yourself some thermal pads for it as well, whatever comes with it. If it's a used one, don't use again. Uh, you can get a thermal pad from Amazon for very cheap and then just cut it to length and size and put it in there and then just make sure you don't touch the top part of it without taking the plastic off. That way you don't get your oils on it. And then just install the VRM. It's a simple step. Three bolts on there and make sure you get them nice and tight. Don't over tighten them and then you're set to go. Okay guys, so we finally put this thing back together. We got it all set up. I went with the two ML120 Pro fans as a push-pull configuration on top of the PC where the radiator is housed from the H60 AIO from Corsair. I also went ahead and routed those hoses this way because I was having them towards the RAM and it wasn't working properly towards the RAM. So it was actually a better way like that because when you close the enclosure, uh, those hoses don't get kinked or anything like that. So I really love that. The other thing I did is I went ahead and got two more additional ML120 Pros and I used them as an intake on the right side of the PC. And then I used the top one there um, where the HDD normally would go. I removed that out of there and used that as a uh, ML120 Pro intake fan. I actually bought four fans, two for there, which is the pull push configuration. And then I used that one as an intake fan. I did use splitters, so that way you can have both of those fans on the intake side working simultaneously together. The bottom fan there, not only does it cool my SSD, which is on the right side here, but it also cools the GPU as well. I love the SSD location. I think that was a plus for um, Alienware to do that as well. I decided to also uh, install the VRM heatsink um, because that's going to help with a lot of the heat dissipation that comes from the uh, VRM as well. So, and having that other intake fan in front of that VRM also helps it cool it, which is also great. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Alienware should have done this a long time ago. So I really kind of enjoy that I, I was able to get this done. And then this is what I did for that front fan, that top fan. When I removed the HDD from there, I decided to use the same um bracket that was used for the top fan which worked really well all right she's on and ready to go guys the blue fans at the top actually make a statement thank you so much for watching i really enjoyed this build guys it was a lot of headaches but it definitely went through so hopefully i made it easier for you guys to do if you are going to tackle on something like this enjoy the rest of the looks see ya Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little long, but hopefully it's very informative to you guys. Hopefully you follow the steps that I have here. If not, 
Make sure you comment below for any other things that you thought I might have done wrong or I should have done right. But other than that, I really appreciate it. It was a great build for me. It was a good challenge and I really enjoyed putting this PC back together. Hopefully I get to do some more of these videos. If not, I'll get to do some other things, but please be sure to follow me down below here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that little bell button uh, so you can subscribe to my channel as well and know when I'm actually going live. And don't forget to also follow me on Twitter, on Facebook and on Twitch. Uh, which I'll be streaming hopefully shortly here soon. I am putting stuff together on my computer still, but other than that, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.